y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of brit if you're new here welcome it is friday and i'm doing another weekend vlog i cannot think of the date right now but i'm doing another weekend vlog i told y'all in my last weekend vlog that i really enjoy vlogging through the weekend so i'm gonna start doing them whenever i get a chance so this weekend we are camping i'm excited and nervous at the same time i'm excited because me and my dad are going together and i really really need some one-on-one -on -one time with him it's been a minute since we've been able to bond and catch up but i'm also nervous because i'm not an outdoors person camping isn't really my thing but I decided to suck it up and go out to my dad's campsite because that's something he really, really enjoys doing, like really enjoys doing. He has an RV camper and stuff, so it's not like I'm sleeping outside in a tent, laying on the ground or anything like that. I'll be in an actual bed in the RV and stuff, and I can't wait to get this experience. We're going to sit by the fire. I'm going to go to Walmart in a few minutes and get some stuff to make s'mores. Like I said, catch up and really just have that one-on-one -on -one time. Me and my dad both live in Atlanta, but he lives... 30 minutes away the campsite is about 30 minutes further than him so i'll be driving about an hour um but yeah uh he's a cop so he's always working he's busy y'all know if y'all keep up with my videos here how busy i am so for us to both make time for each other to spend time today i'm really really excited and i'm going to vlog my camping experience i haven't been camping since i was an elementary student in girl scout if you're a guy and you're watching my videos um i know a few guys do like as far as family members and stuff you might want to skip about five to six minutes because i'm talking to the ladies real quick or stay tuned because there might be some information that you may be able to pass on to your girlfriend wife daughter whatever um but it's gonna be real quick i'm not gonna try to hold y'all too long but i did want to give y'all this review on this company called sacred beauty that helps me with my cycles this month as well as just talk to y'all a little bit about my menstrual routine in general um since y'all know i have endometriosis and i do Deal with painful periods so i track my cycle through this app called flow and flow pretty much tells me when my cycle is going to come on and i can also track on there myself what i'm feeling what the symptoms are leading up to my cycle so that they can give me tips on how to deal with them so about a month ago, I went to this beauty expo. If you watch the vlog, then you'll see, then y'all remember in that vlog, I visited this vendor and the vendor is a black owned self-care body and wellness type vendor that sells products strictly for healing and like helping women through their painful periods or just helping women through that time of the month in general. And um, I had to support that company and I brought some products home. I showed y'all a little haul of the products in that expo video, but I didn't, I wasn't able to give y'all a, a thorough review because I had just gotten them or whatever. Um, so I did have a cycle maybe two to three days after that video and it completely went over my head that I had products going into my cycle. So last month I didn't get a chance to use them. So this month I was really excited um, that I remembered and I went ahead and used the products leading up to my cycle. Well, the products that I got from Sacred Beauty were two bath tea bags, um, a body wash, a Yoni body wash strictly for down below um what else did i get a body oil that you can rub on your face arms everywhere and then a yoni oil that you rub down below and so i got those four things and the package when i got the products from the lady she told me that it's best that you use these products leading up to your period like a few days out from your next cycle so when flo told me that my cycle was due to come on this friday I went and tried to use my tea bags on Wednesday. So Wednesday, I ran a steaming hot bath, hot, hot water, nothing else, like no soap, no Epsom salt, no nothing, just the hot water in the tub. And then I sat the tea bags in the tub. I vlogged a couple of clips, so I'll put them on the screen right now so you can see. Don't be alarmed by the clips, y'all, when y'all see the little tea or like the little herbs floating around in the bath water. The little stuff you see floating around in the water, that's me. I wasn't, I didn't draw the bag as tight as I could have and some of the herbs kind of seeped out and got into the water. But it's okay because they're strictly made for healing. Like, it's fine if they're in the water or whatever. So... I put the bag in there, y'all, sat in the bath, and then um, I used the Yoni wash for the first time. It foamed up really nice. It was really soft, and um, it was very relaxed, and I sat in the bath about 45 minutes. What I will say about the bath initially is when I got the tea bags from the lady, she said that she, in, she puts like little pink rose petals in the bag, which you can see the rose petals. It's like a vibrant pink that I could see through the tea bag. 
um and she puts the rose petal in the bag with the other herbs and when the rose petals hit the water she said it was supposed to bleed out and because they're pink rose petals the my bath water was supposed to turn pink and make it like a full experience i will say that that's the only thing um about the bag my water didn't turn pink i think it was so many other herbs in the bag that um, it kind of shined over the pink and my water was like an icky green, like an icky brown color. I used the oil, rubbed the oil and washed with the body wash and stuff. And so now going into Friday morning, my cycle is on and it is a little painful, y'all. But my cycles are normally really, really bad. I'm able to get on camera, be happy, be cheerful. So um, that's a good sign. Um, what I will say, the difference is it did make a difference with the tea bags versus other cycles that I've had. No matter how bad or how good the cycle is. Is normally when my cycle comes on it hits like it punched right in so let's just say I'm due to come on a Friday morning like I did this morning Thursday night it'll be something just to punch me like a stabbing or a stomping like y'all know how the police if they going after a criminal they're gonna kick the door down it kind of feels like a stomping on the door when my cycle comes on and all through the night the night leading into my cycle I'm tossing and turning from like that punching that pounding that stomping even on my lighter cycles or the less painful ones, it's this little stump that I feel through the night where I'm uncomfortable. What I will say, um, doing the little routine that I tried with Sacred Beauty, um, it wasn't a punch. I was able to sleep comfortably, comfortably last night and gradually overnight, I started feeling a little bit more uncomfortable and uncom until this morning I woke up and I did have to finally take a leave. Um, another disclaimer about myself, I think because of the trauma I've been through with painful menstrual cycles and endometriosis in general, I'm very traumatized. I don't know if it's PTSD or what, but I immediately take pills. I don't wait for it to get bad. I don't wait. I don't wait around for the mess. Like I just go ahead and take pills. So I can't say that the pain was going to get real, real bad or if the tea um if the tea bag really did help and it wasn't gonna be bad pain but once it started picking up towards the morning time I just went ahead and took medicine but overall like it wasn't that that big punch it kind of just eased in before the pain got real but that's pretty much it as far as the uh bath goes y'all and then um this morning I got up once the once I took the medicine and I drank some tea I also want to tell y'all about that I'm pretty sure everybody knows warm tea or warm anything will soothe cramps but it's not really good to consume caffeine caffeine is a huge no-no sugar is a huge no-no when you're on your cycle sodas coffee um even like kool-aids and like heavy sugary juices um tea if it's caffeinated will cause you to cramp even more so i had to find and hunt down a caffeine free tea and for the past year i've been using um a tea called tivana it's very popular starbucks works with the brand if you've ever gotten tea from starbucks it was tivana um but i drink tea from tivana now and it's a caffeine free um brand like i said and i like the um peach tranquility or tranquility peach flavor um it really works for me my i love it and then um i mix in some raw sugar because again it's not good to eat sweet so i use the raw cane sugar about two tablespoons i'm very heavy with heavy with it but the um tablespoons of sugar really wakes up the peach flavor in the tea and then i pour in some honey y'all and it's so good drink on that and it really helps with my cramps but that's all i really had to say i don't want to hold y'all too long i know y'all want to get into the fun y'all want to see how the camping goes so i'm gonna take y'all shopping i'm gonna come back show y'all what i got pack up and leave uh i'll take a fanta with the second one okay all right that's it all right you total twenty seven dollars thank you yeah i had to stop by my little favorite mexican drive through and get me some tacos oh i got me and trail um some tacos this is the name of the place right here pollo pavon but they got some real good authentic tacos y'all thank you that's the tacos, y'all. I'm going to dump out this stuff and give y'all a quick haul. I already put the groceries away. But from Walmart, as far as the camping trip goes, I got one of these trending little Sherpa throws. I've been seeing them in a lot of people's vlogs. No, I did not need another throw just to go camping, but don't judge me. I got these little skewer sticks to roast the marshmallows on. I got the marshmallows. 
I got the Jet Puffs, more vanilla marshmallows, the jumbo ones. Um, graham crackers. I don't like regular graham crackers, so I got the ones with the cinnamon. Some goldfish to munch on in the middle of the night. And some of these. I already told y'all what's going on. I got the Hershey sticks out of Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece. And Walmart, they would have been way more. Out of Dollar Tree, I also got this Autumn Leaves and Pumpkin Please Cups. I'm trying to get into the fall spirit, y'all. Um, there's no camp, I mean, there's no TV and stuff when you're camping. So, I got some crossword finds and crossword puzzles and word finds from Dollar Tree and some pins in case I get bored. Some fuzzy thick socks from Dollar Tree. Really cute. Along with all of my personal lady items. Y'all know what's going on already. I have to bag up my stuff. But yeah, um, and then some hand sanitizer. So I'm going to pack all this up along with my clothes and we're going to hit the road. I made it to the campgrounds, y'all. I'm just waiting on my dad to come meet me in the front. It's a gated community, honey. He got to come let me in. Um, so, yeah, the fun kicks off in just a few minutes. Right. So, when we're, when, and then when I get ready to come fit. First, I want to show y'all the outdoor kitchen. He had an outdoor fridge, a sink, and a lot of storage to store his dishes, a fire pit, a grill for dinner. Now we're moving inside and he's showing me around y'all a full kitchen inside, bedrooms. So then it'll be one, two, three, four. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It could sleep a whole family, honestly. Tan and Michael slept there. Uh-huh. Brian and Noah slept there. Daryl slept up here. A microwave, a fridge, a freezer, bunk beds, a sink, a half bathroom. Everything we needed was on this camper. It was so nice, so big, literally could sleep a whole family. Daddy wanted to do all the cooking, so I'm showing y'all the baked beans. He put some steak on the grill, and I just did crossword puzzles while he cooked. And then when the sun went down and it got dark, he cut on some fire on the fire pit, and we roasted marshmallows and made s'mores. I burnt the first batch, but after I got it right, it was so good. Dad said I can let the couch out. That turned into a bed. He gonna sleep back there on that bed. But I think I'm gonna sleep back here. I don't know if I'm gonna take the top bunk or the bottom bunk. I think I'm gonna take the bottom because it's looking a little plush. And it's real dark back up in there. A lot of space. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the bottom bunk. But first, I'm gonna get a good hot shower. Daddy about to cut the heat on. Sleep good, okay? Sleep good. So I done took these lashes off. Good sleep. I'm so tired. Okay, y'all. I'm in the bed. I'm in the bottom bunk. It's real toasty. I'm supposed to get down in the 50s tonight, but I'm well prepared. Got my blankets. Got the heater going. Um, that's my daddy watching TV in the living room. If you hear anything loud, that's the TV. But. Yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all day one of camping with my dad was really, really successful. I really enjoyed myself. So I'm about to get some sleep and I'll talk to y'all in the morning. Night. Night. Good morning, y'all. It's day two of the vlog. I know I'm looking crusty. I'm literally just waking up. About to wash my face and brush my teeth. Hair sticking up and everything. But yeah, I just wanted to say good morning. I love this mat my daddy have at the door. There's nothing worth dying for. But I came out, my daddy about to get breakfast started. He got his little kitchen out. And then he had a surprise for me. We have a tent that we can go in, stay away from the bugs when it's time to eat today. 
But yeah, y'all, it's a really nice day today. Not too chilly. How you get in it? I'm trying to see how to get in the darn tent, y'all. Oh, I got to zip it from the very bottom. But yeah, it's a really nice day. Not too cold. Not too hot. So I'm about to chill out, watch some more YouTube until he ready to cook. Transformation, wig installs, wig reviews. I was really wigging out at one point. And the cover. Well, they don't come here to grease. Uh, they want this right here. Yeah, I'm walking to the store on the campsite. They have a little shop where you can get like wood if you need wood, coals if you need coals. But I'm going for juice because I'm a child and my daddy have water bottles, but I want orange juice with my breakfast. And it's probably gonna cost me about $10 for one little bottle of orange juice. I'm being dramatic, but it's gonna be expensive, but that's what I want. So I'm walking and I just got really excited because my sister texted me and told me that she coming out here. My dad has two girls and two boys. My oldest sister, her name is Tan on my dad's side. Y'all know Cheryl is my sister on my mom's side, my roommate. But my sister Tan on my dad's side, she has two little boys. Y'all seen him in my previous weekend vlog. My little nephew, Micah, he's six. I took him to the fair last week. But she also has a two-year-old baby named Noah. So her, her boyfriend, and my two nephews will be out here today. And they're going to join the whole camping situation. So I'm excited about that. If I would have known for sure that we was all going to get together today, I would have brought some stuff for my nephews, like toys and stuff. But... Both of them have birthdays coming up. They'll be seven and three this fall. Here is the store. It says general store. I'm trying to figure out which way is the front, where these steps are, or this way where the cars are in the front. I'm gonna try this way first because this is where my intuition is pulling me. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check out the store on the campsite. Yeah, we having fish and rice. My dad was supposed to make fish and grits, but he forgot butter. Can't do grits without butter, y'all know. Yeah, they don't even have orange juice. Just Powerade, chocolate milk, water. But they have apple juice, though. Okay, I'm gonna get apple juice. Um, and a green tea for later. I'm coming out the store and I'm talking to y'all the whole time. I'm walking, not paying attention to where I'm going. It's three fourths in a row. I can go this way to the camper straight ahead or to the left. I'm gonna keep straight, but I ain't fooling with y'all no more because I just stood there for five minutes like, oh my gosh, which way did I come from? Okay, I went the right way because there's the bathhouse over there. And I remember we're right across from that. That was my landmark, the bathhouse. So I'm almost there. My daddy probably like, come on for this fish get cold. He was just taking it out the grease when I decided to go get juice. What type of fish is it? Catfish, I thought you, Catfish, yeah. I know you like that mm -hmm. I do, I love it. I just didn't know. So you gotta have a hole in your lid. Oh yeah. There is always a debate about this in the South. So if you made it this far in the video, comment down below if you're team apple juice or orange juice. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's how they gonna eat. They don't have a grill. Look at a dog up in the window. What kind of dog is that? Lassie. <laughs> Cows, horses, and a pastor back to you know how you see them dog. Uh huh.
daddy hooking the TV up so we can watch movies. I'm feeling good off this wine, y'all. I might take me a nap and brought my blanket in here. Oh, they getting it together. Sissy! So they got the ice and stuff. Y'all asleep? One all they got Kentucky fried chicken. Yeah, you smell it, pizza. Oh, they got the big Kentucky fried chicken thing down there. Noah, 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 slow down. Okay, now go. Look how he ride it, y'all. Catch up, Mike. Good. Let me really see. Good. Blow it, blow it, blow the. F yeah, that's a perfect s'more. Ta-da! <laughs> Danny boot. Hey. <laughs> Mike, come cook it some more. It's still I raw, boot. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, Barry. But I brought those, Daddy. I needed me a shot early. <laughs> Say, Grandpa, let me do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, put it on the fire. Why? So we can cook. Why? I can't put it in the fire. Put it in the fire. Let Auntie see. You don't want me to see? You don't want to cook it? Hmm? What's that? Trees. I can hide the doctor. There's trees. No, that's his doctor. A helicopter? Yes. Okay. What else you hear? Mommy. You see mommy? What's my name, Noah? I know you're Auntie. I'm Auntie. What's, what, what's your name? <laughs> you just said it. Daddy. You having fun? Yeah. What's wrong? Why are you playing basketball? <laughs> playing basketball? Yeah. It's football. I'm watching a football game. My team playing. Say Georgia Bulldogs? Yeah. And the Georgia du Bulldogs playing on TV. Say hello, people. Hello, people. I'm Noah. I'm Noah. Oh, my Why God. Not? It's getting hot. Bro, yours is on fire. Oh, yours is on fire. Micah, yours. Oh, blow God. it. Blow it. Blow it. Micah, oh, blow it. Oh, my God. It's still <laughs> Fire! Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday fun day, and clearly I am back home. I didn't film my good vibes or really vlog like the last four or five hours yesterday because I felt like I had the camera out the entire time. So I feel like I got enough clips, but I really wanted to enjoy those last few hours with my family rather than vlogging. But overall, I had a great time. Camping was so much fun. I think my dad has had that RV maybe three going on four years, three years minimum. He's had that RV and he's invited me to go camping several times, but our schedules just never added up. This time when he invited me, I said I was gonna make time. It was other things I needed to get done this weekend. I really wanted to go get an aloe plant, which I might do today. I'm probably not gonna vlog that, but I wanted to get some aloe plant and put it on my face because with the seasons changing and the weather being up and down, it's um breaking my face out, so. I want to go get an aloe plant. I wanted to get my nails done, my eyebrows waxed, but none of that really even matters to me right now because I am on a high. I really enjoy my daddy, my sister, my nephews, the camping in general. Like it was just really, really fun. My dad said we're going to go back later this year and do it all over again. So I'm looking forward to that. Now I know what to look forward to so I can better prepare. And it was just a blast, y'all. I woke up hungry because we ate dinner so early last night, probably like around 8, 39 o'clock. We had burgers, hot dogs, potato salad, baked beans, that type of stuff. And um, now I'm, I woke up and it's like 
It should be like 11.45 going on 12 and I'm super hungry. So I'm going to take y'all with me to go get some sushi and then I'm going to close the vlog out. This is a spot. It's called Doshi um, Sushi. I don't know if I'm going to sit in here or not because it is a Sunday. I don't know. It just depends on the crowd and how I'm feeling when I get inside. I may just order me a Dynamite or a California Road to go. And then next door is Crazy Sweets and I'm going to get my dessert. Let's see if I'm going to sit in here first. See what's going on. have my sushi when i tell y'all they got that ready in five minutes it took five minutes i went to the bathroom came back sushi was ready and now that i have my sushi i put that in the car and i'm gonna pick up me something sweet because i really i'm just craving it okay y'all what's your favorite um of today's picks y'all this is my food i'm not about to eat all this so i'm showing y'all everything before i put it on the plate but this is the sushi i got something called super crunch it has smoked salmon supposed to be on top of the sushi which it looks raw and shrimp and crab and cucumber on the inside they give you some wasabi a side salad and a side of rice and then from Crazy Sweets, I got three macaroons. I got the creme brulee, which was a Sunday special. So they torched it at the top like they would a creme brulee with cream cheese in the middle. And then this one I think is called cereal and cream cheese, which is basically just fruity pebbles and cream cheese in the middle. And then this one is the cookie monster. And that's pretty much self-explanatory. But yeah, y'all, I'm just gonna put some of my sushi and rice on a plate, probably some salad, and then maybe one macaroon and save the rest for later. Then I got um, Capriccio. I'm gonna pour that in a glass and I'm gonna be back in just a second. Okay, y'all, so I have made it to my room. I didn't cut a movie on. I'm about to eat, and I'm not even going to hold y'all any further. That is it for today's vlog. It was a little intimate, low-key, just me spending time with family, but I really hope y'all enjoyed it. There'll be more weekend vlogs to come. I love y'all very, very much. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.